All right, this is a live look now at Kennedy Space Center, where NASA's most powerful rocket ever built sits on launch pad 39B, ahead of its first flight. Now, NASA insists it is ready to launch the Artemis moon rocket on Monday morning, but there is one thing it will not know it's gotten right until just hours before launch. Yeah, have they solved a pesky hydrogen leak? It plagued their practice countdowns. New 6 space expert Eric Von Anken explains what mission managers will be watching closely for this weekend. This weekend, NASA mission managers will start fueling, or tanking as they call it, the giant orange fuel tank, the backbone of the space launch system, to ready it for the ride into deep space on the Artemis 1 moon mission. But the last time they tried this, remember during the wet dress rehearsals? It didn't go so well. The biggest problem was leaking liquid hydrogen. NASA tried several times to fix the leak and then fuel again. Is it fixed? And are you only going to find out when it's on the pad and you go to fuel? Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, our team here, the Exploration Ground Systems team here at the Kennedy Space Center, has worked so hard and so diligently to uh, get that hydrogen leak corrected. Two, one, zero, and lift off the final. The space shuttle used the same liquid hydrogen fuel and had the same problem stubborn leaks that would pop up only at tanking. It has a reputation as being a very, very slippery uh, propellant, right? Especially when it's super chilled down to minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. This stuff is hard to contain. It's the smallest molecule known to humans. Keeping it contained and then releasing all of that energy, it's really difficult. The problem on the SLS is at the connection point between the rocket and the mobile launcher, a four inch quick disconnect. NASA has changed out the seals, but again, we won't find out if it ultimately worked until hours before launch, when techs gush liquid hydrogen through that connection point. We've done the best job we can to repair this leak here. And so we're gonna roll this rocket out. We have great confidence that when we get it out there, it's gonna hold. It'll be the first time, as you said, that we've had it on the pad, ready to go since we've had that leak. And um, the hope is that it's going to hold and we're going to launch this thing. We'll find out early Monday morning at the Kennedy Space Center. Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6.